Jasper AI has officially launched its newest feature called Jasper Chat. Jasper Chat is built on the Chat GPT conversational AI model, so it should allow you to generate the same types of output as you can generate with Chat GPT. So in today's video, I'll be taking a closer look at Jasper Chat. I'll be testing out some of its features, some of its use cases, and I'll be comparing to see if there is a difference between Jasper Chat and Chat GPT. At the time of recording this video, Jasper Chat is completely free for those on the boss mode plan and higher. So if you are on the starter plan, you will have to upgrade to the boss mode plan to get Jasper Chat included. The boss mode plan starts at $49 and goes all the way up to $500 per month, just depending on the number of words that you need to generate each month. But again, the Jasper Chat feature is included if you have the boss mode plan already with Jasper AI. If you all already have a Jasper AI boss mode plan, this is what your dashboard will look like. On the left hand side, you'll be able to access the Jasper chat features. And this is where you'll be able to play around with Jasper chat. In order to use Jasper chat, all you have to do is enter your prompt or input within this toolbar section, click enter, and then the Jasper chat will give you your output just dependent on the input in which you entered. And right above the search bar, Jasper has included some example of prompts in which you can use. So for example, you can ask the AI to create a list of 10 blog post titles about a specific topic. You can ask the AI to write a paragraph about a specific topic. You can ask the AI to help you create a short story, write a song, summarize the following text, write a Facebook ad, write a blog post about or develop a short story about a specific topic. And you can also refresh those prompts to get new prompts and new ideas of things in which you can ask Jasper chat. So that is a nice feature that is included because sometimes uh, you really don't know how to get the best outputs from these new AI models. So it gives you some examples that you can follow here. So a couple of use cases for Jasper chat could be to write a blog post for a specific article. So for this example, I've asked Jasper chat to write me a blog post intro for an article about how to save money on taxes. So once you enter your prompt, just click the arrow button, which is included here on the right hand section at the bottom of your screen. And as you can see, you get um, some content back from Jasper AI. Now, right off the bat, I can see that there is some differences between Jasper chat and chat GPT. This user interface makes it seem as if you're actually speaking to another human rather than an AI. So I like this layout and I like how it's been designed by Jasper Chat. Once you generate an output from Jasper Chat, you have a couple of different things in which you can do with that output. You can give it a thumbs up if it's a good message, give it a thumbs down if it is a bad message. You can regenerate your text, you can copy your message. So if you want to paste that in a separate place, you can copy that message over or you can open this within a document. So as most of you know, Jasper AI is a full scale AI copywriter. So they also have a lot of other templates and features which allows you to write more longer form content. So if you want to, you can open uh, this text within a document. And once you do so, you'll still have access to Jasper chat here on the left hand side, but you'll have a document in which you can paste your content. This solves a pretty big problem that I was facing when using ChatGPT, And I believe most of you are also facing that issue as well, when you're generating content on chat GPT, you're not able to have the templates that are included in some of these other AI copywriters. So you have to copy that content, paste it over into a Google Docs and then formulate your content that way. With Jasper AI, you're able to use Jasper chat, but then also um, export that over to a long form document all within the same place. So it makes the user experience much easier when generating longer form content. So I really like that that feature is included in Jasper chat. And that's usually what you get when you use some of these other AI copywriters rather than using the direct language models like chat GPT or GPT three. So when using Jasper chat, you have similar use cases and functionality when compared to chat GPT. It seems as though everything you can do and generate on chat GPT, you can also generate the same thing on Jasper chat, especially when it comes to language models. Jasper AI is more of an AI copywriter, so they are more focused on generating specific content for short and long form copy. I did ask Jasper chat to write me a code for a Twitter bot that automatically follows a set amount of accounts daily. And it actually gave me some pretty good code. So you do have the ability to ask Jasper chat to audit or write new code for you. But again, I think Jasper AI is mostly focused on allowing you to generate language specific prompts, but um, it is nice that you have those features included. And I think that's because uh, Jasper chat is built on chat GPT. So anything that chat GPT can do, Jasper chat will also be able to do. 
Another pretty cool use case of Jasper AI chat is to be able to generate content in different languages. So if you wanted to generate content within a different language, you can ask the AI to do so. Or if you're not an English native speaker, you can generate content within your own language. So Jasper chat isn't limited to just English. You can generate content in up to 29 languages. So for instance, I can ask the AI to write me a blog post about macroeconomics in Spanish. I can then ask Jasper chat to translate that paragraph that was written in Spanish into English, and it'll then go ahead and translate that paragraph um, over to English. So very cool stuff here. You have a lot of different language use cases in which you can use Jasper chat for. If you would like to use Jasper chat in other places, not just only on Jasper. So if you would like to have access to the chat in any place in which you're writing content, such as on your social media, LinkedIn, or emails, you can download the Jasper Chrome extension and you'd be able to use Jasper AI chat to write content anywhere that you like on the internet. So for instance, let's say you wanted to write a message on LinkedIn, just open up that chat box and you'll be able to see the Jasper AI icon. And if you click on that icon, this is where you'd be able to give a command to Jasper and Jasper will be able to give you custom content. So in this example, I asked Jasper AI to write a cold outreach message asking a prospect to book in a free consultation for a web design. So once you enter your prompt, just click um, enter. So as we can see here, we got a pretty good message in which we can send over to our prospect. So it's nice if you have the Google Chrome extension from Jasper because it allows you to use Jasper in other places rather than having to be on their actual web app. So that's my review of Jasper Chat. In summary, I think it's a really, really good addition to Jasper AI. It does utilize the Chat GPT model. So pretty much anything you can do on Chat GPT, you're able to do it on Jasper. But Jasper AI has done a really good job at polishing off these templates. They've made it very intuitive and very easy to use. So even if you are a beginner and you've never used Chat GPT or any of these other AI language models, uh, you'll find it very easy for you to start generating content, especially uh, with these prompts here. It really allows you to understand what capabilities these language AI models have. But if you don't have a plan for Jasper AI, I wouldn't run out to get a plan just to get the chat features. Right now, you can use the same features on ChatGPT for completely free. So until ChatGPT actually starts to charge to use their AI models, then you don't really have a need to go out and pay for Jasper Chat. But if you've never tried out Jasper AI for yourself, I would recommend giving them a try. It's definitely one of the most powerful AI copywriters in the market. They have some very unique and powerful templates, which allows you to generate both short and long form content. So if you want to try out Jasper AI for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below this video for a free five day trial. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something new and you got some value from this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.